Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Savannah Tori. If you guys are new here, I review books. Sometimes I do vlogs of my life and I am a uni student. So there's a whole lot of content that I produce from that alone. But it is a very special video because I am unboxing. Let me turn around here for a second. A fairy loot and an alum crate box. I am very excited for both of these boxes. Um, obviously, I am a monthly subscriber of Fairy Loot, so I get a box for them every month. And I recently got the opportunity to get onto the Illum Crate um, monthly subscription, but right now I am not in the financial situation to continue on to the monthly subscription. So this is just a one-time box. So this is my first Illum Crate box. And it'll probably be the last for like a while, maybe until I want to say maybe September, October ish. And I feel a little bit more stable. I'll probably, hopefully, they'll give me the opportunity to join their subscription again. So this is a very exciting box. And this is also a very exciting box. I am going to start with Fairy Loot because I, I guess I just want to hold the specialness, the one box that I won't really normally get again um for last so i'll save the best for last i guess put that right here and i also wanted to say that my current read i am currently reading the daughter of the moon goddess from fairy loot i cannot remember what month this was um but i'm a couple chapters in i am absolutely obsessed i kind of gave myself a break from hold on where is it the fairy <laughs> The Sarah J. Mass um, Crescent City um, House of Sky and Breath because the character building and just the world building in the book kind of gets me really confused as it did with the first book. So I just wanted a break from it, needed to con needed something else. So I am reading this one um, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it so far. But I should stop rambling and I should probably get into the May Fairy Loot box. I should mention that this is the April um, Illum Crate box. I thought it was going to be the May, but I don't know their whole system. I'll probably figure it out eventually. I think I think they do once the month is over. Like, So for May, they send out the April boxes. And for June, they send out the May boxes. I'm not sure. I think that's how it is. But yeah, so I have the April Illum Crate box. But let's cut into this bad boy and get into April. The theme of the month is cloak and dagger. So yes, let's get into the box. So the first thing that I can pull out, I'm trying not to look down, I'm just trying to reach, is this. It says Celestial Kingdom Mug such a nice little box so obviously it's got like the <laughs> i mentioned this earlier it's got like the little Ooh, hold on let me get the book flowers from <laughs> from the daughter of the moon goddess um and right now the character in the book um xing is currently in the celestial kingdom so the little note left by fairy loot says we hope you love your new ceramic mug. It is inspired by the Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan and features Exing, Li Wei, and Wenzi. I have not met the last two characters on that yet, but, oh my god, okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna have so much tea in this. <laughs> oh lordy, okay. So I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that the center is Xing, and then these are the other two characters, Li Wei and Wing Z, I think it was on the bottom. And then on the bottom, it is inside the cup is like a little violet, and on the bottom is like this little design. It's absolutely amazing. And on the bottom of the actual cup, it has the fairy loot design. 
that is absolutely amazing. I'm obsessed with this cub. It's so tiny. Um, I obviously can't put this right now in the kitchen because my mom has an aesthetic going on, but this will definitely be saved for a later date. And, oh, yeah. So the next thing in the box that I can reach for is this. It is a Stardust tea strainer designed by Bianca D Dot Designs. I like these little boxes that everything is coming in. And if I can bend it over, oh my god. Okay, so, so far both of these op items were very useful. I'm very excited for them. Um, and if I can give you guys a closer look, can you even see that properly? But it says, neither here nor there, but long ago. The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. Okay. But yes, this is the little tea strainer. It has little cutouts of hearts and moons and <laughs> everything. Uh, it's, it, yep. It says a little message from Fairy Loot says this stunning wooden tea strainer features a quote from our featured book, which is waiting for you at the bottom of the box. Well, I just read the name of the book, so I it's the Stardust, the Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. <laughs> I haven't heard of that book yet, but I will be very excited to read it. Um, if I could drop that there. Uh, I didn't I didn't feel for that first, but we have our little favorites again. Um oh my gosh, this is oh this is so cute. Okay, so we have two little scrunchies. Oh if I can get that out of the way. Has little two little scrunchies. This one has like words on it and this one has like a little pattern. Um it says blood and ass scrunchies. Uh it doesn't say anything else here. But let's see, it said Blood and Ash Gun Cheese, designed by Katrina um, Book Designs. This set of hair scrunchies is inspired by the From Blood and Ash series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Um, I don't know what this one says. Let's see if I can read it properly. It's kind of really small. Um, you're an absolutely stunning, wondrous little creature i think i think it says little yes you are an absolutely stunning wondrous little creature i think it says wondrous yes it's wondrous <laughs> um okay so these are little scrunchies these would be nice to use my hair <laughs> kind of like feels like a silkish not silkish i don't know what type of material it is but it feels really nice um, that's also another useless, uh, useless, it is also another useful product from Fairyloot in this month's box. Okay, so the next thing that I have is this. It says Red Rising Bottle Opener. Um, designed by Jess Hawk. Another useful thing in the box. Oh, it gives you this little red thing. It says... Um, what it says on the outside. Oh my god. Guys, this is so cool. Um, so it says Oddities Fortuna Javit? Javit? And then it has this little, I don't know what that is. I haven't read the book. So if you've read the book and you know what this this means, maybe it's like a, a, a like a restaurant in the book or a bar in the book. I don't know. Um, but the little note from Fairy Root says, if I can find it, designed by Iron and Dink Designs, open a refreshing drink in style with this bottle opener inspired by the Red Rising series by Pierce Brown. Okay, so it seems like that was one two three four this should be another item in the box if i search for it and it seems it's underneath the book is it underneath the book 
It is underneath the book. Okay, so if I can... Oh my god. These are so pretty. Okay, so underneath the book, I have two of these already and I do not use them. I just have them hidden away with my tarot cards. I, I cannot see myself using them. I don't want to destroy them. So we have two foiled bookmarks. I have no idea who these are inspired by. I'll read them to you in a second. But it does say um, collectible number three and, and collectible number four on the bottom, along with the fairy loot design on the back. So, yep, they have little foils on them. They are bookmarks. Absolutely amazing. I'll definitely be adding those to the ones that I already have. And it is our foiled mythology bookmarks. Art by Grey's Art. Our mythology bookmark collections continues with Loki. Loki. Oh, that is so cool. This is Loki. That is so freaking cool. If I'd paid more attention and I'd see the horns, I'd probably know that it was Loki, but I didn't look at them like that. I was just looking at the foil. Oh, that's so nice. Anyway, um, the god of mistress, you know. Um, Kimio, which are numbers three and four in the collection. That is really nice. And those are the last thing in the box before the tarot cards, the monthly tarot cards. So these are the back of the tarot cards as usual, and these are the tarot cards. Absolutely beautiful, guys. And it says the Empress and the Hierophant. Hierophant? I think it's Hierophant. These tarot cards are illustrated by the amazing Rs28. Feature Brie, Sebastian, and Finian from these hollow vowels. Now, I've read that book. I didn't recognize any of these characters. That is absolutely amazing. Oh, my God. I Also, that the second book oh, by Lexi Ryan um, is coming out soon. I think it's These Twisted Bonds. I'm very excited for that book. I cannot wait to get my hands on it because the first book left us in such a cliffhanger. I'll probably read the first book all over again just to give myself a little re little rewind of what ha of what happened. I did that with Sarah J Mass House of Earth and Blood. I did I completely forgot the amount of world building and character building was in that book. It spun my head a bit. But I will definitely be reading these Twisted Bonds that's up there. I mean, this, these hollow vowels before I read these Twisted Bonds. But yes, these are the tarot cards for the month. Now, let us get on into the book of the month. Okay, so if I can slide that down there. Okay. And if I can reach for everything in the box before I get to that, that is next month's spoiler. This is the character art and a letter from the author. This is anything else? This is the monthly bookmark. And it says May 2022 cloak and dagger absolutely amazing put that there is there anything else i need to reach for i kind of saw the front i don't didn't want to see the front and here is our little dust bag my favorite part of the box i love that the books are so protected and if i could ease this out as carefully as i possibly can okay you guys are gonna see the first look of the book first how does it look oh my god the stardust by Chelsea Abdullah absolutely beautiful it has like these little designs on the back a purple like sleep oh my god it's so beautiful <laughs> it has a purple little accent with the like grayish whitish tones absolutely beautiful um if I open the book 
they have art on the end pages it seems with the main character if i can slip to the back and give you guys another look of the without dropping the book um they have no under the dust cover art which i did really love from fairy Lear. i was hoping this book would have it but they do not they do have on the naked back though a little compass and on the back it says neither here nor there but long ago if you guys remember that that is also on the tea strainer <laughs> oh my god i wonder who says that <laughs> but it is absolutely beautiful i like how it's just there but the compass is absolutely beautiful guys this is as normal as usual as usual fairy loot have knocked it out of the park it is beautiful stunning fairy loot i love this edition as well um so if i can put the dust cover back on and give you guys a little read of the blurb okay neither here nor there but long ago luli al nazari is the Midnight Merchant, a criminal who, with the help of her jinn bodyguard, hunts and sells illegal magic. When she saves the life of a cowardly prince, she draws the attention of his powerful father, the Sultan, who blackmails her into finding an ancient lamp. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> with no choice but to obey or be executed, Luli's journey with the Sultan's oldest son to find the artifact, aided by her bodyguard, who has secrets of his own, they must survive ghoul attacks out with a, vengeant, a vengeful jinn queen and confront malicious killer. Oh lord. From Luli's past, that's even worse. I should have finished the sentence. Um, and in the in a world where story is reality and illusion is truth, Luli will discover that everything, her enemies, her magic, even her own past is not what it seems and must decide who she will become in this new reality. Guys. I'm kind of in love and I haven't even started the book. I have so many books on my to be read. So many books that I have to read over the summer. That's definitely going to be one of them after Daughter of the Moon Goddess. I know I said it was going to be like the Year of the Reaper and Olivia's Blake, The Atlas Six. I bought that recently because the amount of hype that is going on about that book on book talk and instagram i am so intrigued but just the amount of books that i have to read this summer it's absolutely maddening i'm gonna have the best summer ever i promise but um fairy loot you've done an absolutely amazing job with this box i think my favorite thing from the box would be the cup i think the cup even though the scrunchies come in in a close second I mean, look at the characters. And then I have my little tea tin from the last box as well. So <laughs> you have your tea, just bring hot water upstairs. You're good to go, guys. Um, but yeah, that is the Fairy Loot May 2022 Cloak and Dagger box. Let's get into the Illume Crate April 2022 box. Okay, a bit of a time skip above, I mean, a bit of a time skip. Since the last clip, I cleaned up my table from what I got with the Fairy Loot box. Absolutely impressed and happy with that box, but let's get into my very first Illum Crate box. I am so excited for this. So, oh my god, first open. Oh, so. I could give this box a big hug. Okay, so the first thing I can see is Nothing But Thieves, um, April 2022. That is the theme for this book. 
absolutely amazing if I can look inside if I look inside it is the spoiler card okay so figuring out how this how this little box works okay so the first thing I can reach for is a, is this oh my god okay if I can open this I need like a I think a scissors okay so if I can I'm lost for words. Okay, so it's like a, I guess this is, I wanna say like a collectible from their boxes. Um, It's like a little holder, maybe you could put pens in here. And it says a picture of art history. And on the back, it says a glimpse into the imaginations of our greatest artists. And then I guess, oh my God. Can you imagine this like on the bookshelf? That is so cute. It has like gold little edges lining on the edges and then the gold details all throughout. I do not know what I'm gonna use this for because all of my pencils and stuff are like off of my table. I have a very tiny table so I can't take up much space, but I will definitely see if I can put it in here somewhere, but I do not know what I can put in it. It is absolutely beautiful guys and then it just has like the little imitation of pages on the bottom and on the side find the name of it and who designed it okay it is a art history book pot designed by chatty nora we know her from the fairy loot box our latest book pot is inspired by art history this amazing thing okay so the next thing in the box is uh, this. They have a little elastic band around it. Okay. I think these are bookmarks. Uh, well, bookmarks, yeah. These are bookmarks. That is the second difference I've seen with Loom Crate and Fairy Loot. Loom Crate has like these little. Ooh, hold on one second. These like unmarked boxes and. Fairy Loot has the design boxes, like I just showed you with the, the ceramic cup. And then these, the bookmarks would like come in little like brown envelopes with a little design on the top, I think. These are envelopes, I'm not sure. These are the Gilded Wolves bookmark sets. Artwork designed by Gabriella Budosu. Um, featuring all the main characters from this series, these bookmarks are as beautiful as they are useful. Yes, they are very beautiful, but I will not be using them. I don't want to like put them down somewhere and someone just like picks them up. That's no, they don't know how precious these are. I've never read this book, so I do not know who these characters are. They're all very beautiful though, I'm not going to lie. And this one. Wait, didn't I get this one twice? No, I did not. But yes, so you have five bookmarks of five amazing characters that I do not know. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so I will put this to the side. I'll probably put it in my pot, my very brand new pot and move on to something else in the box guys okay <laughs> um so this is what i picked up it says a song to the spirits it is this don't know what this is uh it says it is a paper craft kit designed by rosie thorns 88 exclusively for a loom crate um piece together one of our favorite scenes from city of brass with this exclusive paper craft kit okay so i guess it's like i don't i don't know i do not know what this is 
I'll figure it out later. I feel <laughs> I do not know what this is. So that is the third thing in the Illum Crate box. And this is the fourth thing that I pull out. <laughs> it's a it's like a folder of sorts. <laughs> I, do, I don't know, guys. Uh, if I pull it out of its case and drop that over to the sides, it says on the front, stories are a way to preserve oneself, to be remembered, and to forget. I guess it's like a journal. Oh. Oh. It's a little picture book. If you have like little um, photos, you put them in here. That is so adorable. I guess like now is the thing of Polaroids. I only have like four Polaroids because my friend and I took my friends and I took them on the last day of our like college days, like our sixth form days. But I don't have that many for to fill an entire album. I have to invest in a Polaroid, guys. <laughs> but yes, it is absolutely beautiful. It has little stunning, guys. It has little gold edges. I like the back of it. It has a little bird on the bottom. Kind of looks like a phoenix. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's like a photo album. Very nice. Uh, if I can put that over there and the... the uh, it is a to be remembered print album artwork by fez inkwright um store all your favorite memories and artwork in this print album inspired by the in invisible life of addy larue addy larue is at the very top of my cupboard <laughs> um but yes that is inspired by her and i think this is the last thing in the box okay so they give you four items not five like fairy loot but they do have an absolutely stunning book little case the little case that they put their book in that says loom crate and it is bright yellow just like the box is so oh my god that actually reminds me hold on A brief intermission by the fairy loot book, The Stardust Thief. I always forget to show this. It is signed by the author. Looking at the book from Loom Crate, I kind of remembered, oh, maybe it's signed by the author. I forgot to show you. Um, okay, now back onto the Loom Crate box. Um no they don't have any art um, like letter from the author or anything that i can see but yeah that's just it that's entirely what's in the box which is i mean the bag that's entirely what's in the bag which is the book if i can drop the box down there this is the book guys portrait of a thief grace d lie um, and it says on the back, Will, Will could hear the sirens. They sounded like a promise. Okay. <laughs> um, definitely sounds like something a thief would say. They have sprayed um, yellow edges. Inside, they have, do they have, they don't have any end pages. But if I unravel that, ooh. okay, so it's like a, a two-parter here. Okay, so if I, they have under the, this jacket art for the characters. Oh, this is very like, realistic. It's very realistic. Absolutely amazing, guys. This is beautiful. And the naked cover, they have like little tigers on the prowl to steal stuff. <laughs> um, but yes, that is the book. Let's see if this is signed by the author. 
and it seems like it is right there on the bottom in gold that's really cute um yeah it is signed by the author and that is pretty much it let's get into reading the blurb okay so let's get into reading the blurb okay history is told by the conquerors across the western world museums display the spoils of war of conquest of colonialism priceless art the priceless pieces of art looted from other countries kept even now oh that is so true will chen plans to steal them back oh okay so he's not stealing for a bad cause he just wants to give them back to their original owners a senior at harvard will fits comfortably in his careful carefully curated roles a perfect student an art history major an artist a perfect son the american dream but when a shadowy corporation reaches out with an impossible and illegal job offer, Will finds himself as something else as well. The leader of a heist to steal back five priceless Chinese sculptures looted from Beijing centuries ago. I'm kind of already on Will's side because he just wants to give them back. <laughs> His crew is every heist archetype one can imagine or at least the closest he can get each has their own complicated relationship with china and the identity they cult they've cultivated as chinese americans but when will asks, none of them can turn him down they all want to return these pieces <laughs> If they succeed, they earn $50 million and a chance to make history. If they fail, it, it's not the loss of everything they've dreamt for themselves, but yet another thwarted attempt to take back what colonialism has stolen. That is absolutely amazing, guys. I'm not going to lie. I kind of agree with what Will and his crew are doing. I am already feel falling for the bad boy of the book. Um, but yeah, if you could steal something and give it back to its original com country, where it rightfully belongs, wouldn't you do it? I, I would, if I had skills other than reading book and falling in love with fictional people. <laughs> but yes, guys, that was the Illum Crate April 2022 box and the Fairy Loot May 2022 box. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed my little interludes and absolute struggle to get everything in the box. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Sincerely, Sav. I don't know what else to say other than if you guys have not liked, commented, or subscribed, please do that. It helps me out a bunch. I'm trying to grow this channel so let's get to it guys please go subscribe i will give you guys a little hint on the screen go subscribe and i will see you definitely in the next video bye